Yo, what's up everyone today? Let's learn how to make an AFK GUI. So first things first, let's go ahead and add in a dummy rig because we want to edit our billboard GUI. So inside of any dummy that you guys have, head over to where it says head, add a billboard GUI and a text label. Now this text label is going to display whatever it is that you would like to display, AFK, away, so on and so forth. So change the text to what you would like to say, say away. And of course, if the billboard GUI is stuck on our head, make sure you change the stud offset to however you would like. The Y axis of our stud offset in the billboard GUI properties, I'm doing 1.5. And then go ahead and customize the text label to however you would like. Sweet, that looks good. So once I'm all finished with that, head over to replicated storage and let's add a remote event. And then I'm going to rename this remote event to AFK RE. And then next up, let's go ahead and add a script inside of server script service. And I'm going to grab my billboard GUI and drag it inside of this script. Cool. And then delete your dummy. We don't need it anymore. So let's go ahead and build our GUI itself. So go ahead and head over to starter GUI, add a screen GUI. And of course, let's go ahead and add a frame. Everything will be added onto this frame. So since I only really need one button, inside of this frame, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a text button inside of this frame. And in each object, I'm gonna go ahead, of course, add a UI corner because something about those rounded corners look aesthetically pleasing. And then once that's done, I'm gonna change the text button's text to AFK. And then I'm gonna go ahead and change, rename my entire text button object to AFK because I'll be referencing that inside of my local script in just a second. So once you're all happy with how it looks like, add a local script inside of our frame. We have a few variables, one which references the remote event, a debounce, as well as the AFK text button. So we're gonna create a mouse button one click function where if a player clicks on this text button, then the text is going to go ahead and set it so that it's not AFK, else if DB is equal to false, that our debounce, then the text will be equal to AFK. And for both, it's for both statements, we're gonna go ahead and fire the remote event to the server. Okay, so back to the script that we placed inside our server script service. Let's create a variable for our billboard GUI that is directly the child of our script. So now we're gonna go ahead and create an on server event where once the local script remote event has been fired from the local script, we're gonna go ahead and grab the player's character. We're gonna grab the humanoid as well as the head. So if the humanoid is, if they click the AFK button, then the text of the billboard GUI will be replicated and cloned, sorry, it will be cloned onto into our character's head. And it's going to actually also change the walk speed of our humanoid to zero. Just a little something that I would like to add. You don't need to change the walk speed if you don't want to. Else, if the player is no longer AFK, then the billboard GUI text is going to get destroyed and their walk speed will be reverted back to normal, the default uh, speed, which is 16. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and test it out. So I'm click AFK. You see how it says away, and you can also see that the text in the GUI changes as well, depending if I'm either AFK or not. Full scripts and models will be posted on our website, link in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this content, please give us a like and a subscribe. As always, have fun creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.